Pop pop the big pop boy. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Big Pop Boy where in this video we are going to be figuring out what's going to be the better boy. Is it going to be Shining Fates or is it going to be Battle Styles with its awesome new Rapid Strike and Single Strike? Who knows? Most people guys would definitely say, oh Shining Fates is going to kick the crap out of Battle Styles. But Everybody don't know a couple of the secrets that I know coming in in battle styles, so I'm going to tell you guys all about that. But first, before we get into that, as always, I would like to make sure that everybody drops a comment down below to make sure that you're in our giveaway. If you're not in it, you can't win it, guys, and our giveaway is going to be for an absolutely amazing elite trainer box and for an absolutely fantastically fantastic mystery boxy pack type thing. Well, it's going to be a mystery box, yeah. So, you're going to win an elite trainer box and a mystery box. You definitely want to comment down below. And of course, like that video, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Make sure you are in it to win it. If you don't smash that subscribe button, hell, you won't even know if you win because you won't get like a notification when the videos are up. <laughs> yeah, you might never even see it. So let's get down to business guys and let's talk about these two sets. I got all my notes but I'm not going to show you them because then that would make the video pointless. Yes, yes it would. So let's figure it out, okay? First of all, we've got Shining Fates, okay? And Shining Fates is, it, it's going to be mind-numbingly awesome, alright? There's no doubt about that. And to be quite honest with you, You've got some awesome stuff coming in here with Shining Fates, okay? I've gone and spent probably more than I should have on Shining Fates already. But then again, I've done the exact same thing with Battle Styles. Like, I've pre-orders in for both of them. Um, I'm not going to open everything. As you guys know, I do like my sealed collecting. So I'm going to keep a little bit of everything. But I'm going to open a little bit of everything as well. So, yeah, obviously. Uh, let's get down to business. Let's figure this out. So with Shining Fates, guys, there's, um, there's the tins that are coming in. And the tins are gorgeous. These tins are, like, super beautiful. Going to be, like, a real big point in the set. And you're going to have things like Camarant V, Baltand V, and, of course, Eldegoss V, which are three cool-ass Pokemon. Okay, maybe not so much Baltand, but Camarant and Eldegoss are really cool Pokemon. Yeah. So they've all got shiny variants in the promo card, which we don't see in any other previous sets. Not that I can think of on hand straight away. Maybe there was one or two. No, I'm pretty sure that there wasn't. So you've got like these shiny cards that are also the promos, which is a first. So this is going to be like super fantastic for a lot of people. But then you've also got like a super cool elite trainer box with an absolutely fantastic EV promo in it. Like, how could you not want, like, have you guys, look, look at this Eevee promo. Just look at it, it's right here, right here. Wait, yeah, but it's here. Anyway, that Eevee promo, guys, is absolutely gorgeous. That is another big thing that is going to blow this set out of the water. Eevee, as everybody knows, super collectible, super cute, super, like, if you don't like Eeveelutions and Eevee, they're, like, are you even a Pokemon fan? Are you? Are you really? So that's a cool thing, okay? Obviously, there's going to be a few amazing rares in the set. We've got uh, Kyrogre, Yeveltal, and um, other stuff as well. Should have wrote that down, but I didn't. But off the top of my head, I remembered some of them. Yay! But <laughs> you've some pretty cool, uh, amazing rares coming in as well. They'll all be up here anyway, so you'll be able to see them. And these amazing rares are pretty darn nice. So that's another great thing about this set. Battle Styles. Will Battle Styles have amazing rares? We don't know yet. But I'm going to assume they will. I'm going to just imagine that every set now for the future will have a couple of amazing rares in it. Like, why not, right? Why not? It gives us more reason to buy them. <coughs> Squeeze me. It gives us more reason to buy Pokemon. So if Pokemon didn't keep them in, that would be kind of silly. Right, so as another great thing that we have is the Pikachu V box sets coming out. The Pikachu V collection. It's got a oversized Pikachu and a regular sized Pikachu. It's from um, that Japanese thing they done, like a Japanese promotion. Pika Pika something or other Yoki Mabob or Tingy Majigi Yoki Bob. 
was pretty cool but it's a gorgeous promo guys and let's be honest it's something that any Pikachu collector is going to want in their set and they are going to have a great box that I think people should keep in a sealed collection because it's beautiful it's presentable it's absolutely awesome then guys let's talk about the shiny vault cards okay you've got the oh even before we get into the shiny vault, in the set alone, there's also some beautiful full art cards, okay? Some two cards, actually, that just stood out to me a lot, that I think people are just going to want in their set. And that's Skyla, full art. Because, have you guys seen how, um, how incredibly, like, expensive full art trainers are going at the moment? Let me just, I'm going to show you guys something real quick. I have a little stack of cards over here. I'm going to show you guys real quick, okay? This card. Can you guys see that? Can you see that? This card is selling for like 250 to 300 euro at the moment. What the freaking hell is going on? I'm not selling it, by the way, so nobody asked me. But it, it's selling for 250 to 300 euro. So female full art trainer cards are starting to build up in price big time. And I've always said, if you guys go back and check some of my previous investment videos and stuff, I've always said, keep your full art trainer cards because people were like selling them for next to nothing. But obviously people are going to want them full art trainer cards because the characters in my opinion, are just as important as the Pokemon is the characters that are in the anime. So, two beautiful full art trainer cards in this set that I think are going to go for very awesome money in the future. And that's Skyla Full Art and Carolis Full Art. Two, like, amazingly beautiful cards. So if they don't go for lots of money in the future, don't blame me. I just said I think they will. I didn't say that they will. But... They're awesome guys and the, as I said female trainers are just going up and up in value so you guys need to keep them on board as well as that guys right we've a, we already know of a shiny VMAX Charizard that's going to be in this right but I was having a chat with one of my friends earlier today and he pointed something like really smart out to me he said Mark you know you said this not me so I don't want to I don't want to say that I thought of it, but obviously we know you thought of it and nobody else would know that, but you, you think bad of me, so I won't do that. My Palo, no way, Palo sounds silly. Friendo, my friendo, because if you're from Dublin, you put an O on the end of everything, guys. Remember that. Friendo, tanko, yo -o. yeah. <laughs> anyway, Mark says to me like, right, they're bringing out the shiny VMAX, but they haven't said anything about a shiny V Charizard. And then was like, yeah, but shiny V Charizard was just in Champion's Path. And Mark was like, yeah, so that would kind of make the whole one in Champion's Path obsolete and people wouldn't go out and buy Champion's Path. But then he said something really smart. He said, hey, what about an alternate art shiny Charizard V? Woo, I said. That sounds fantastic. He said, yeah, something like that anyway. But let's be honest, guys. There is a fairly good chance of this shiny V Charizard going to be in the set. Because we've got a VMAX Charizard. They're not going to use the same Charizard and reprint it. But for the fact that they could do an alternate art Charizard V, that's brilliant. And like, let's be honest, there's going to be some surprises in this. Why is there going to be some surprises? Because I said so, that's why, okay? Right. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but go look at some of the boxes for the Shiny Star V stuff, okay? This is Mark again. Mark notices these little things, okay? I didn't notice this, but Mark noticed this, and then he said to me, hey, dude, look at this. And he was right, okay? That's two times I've mentioned your name, Mark, okay? You owe me some free cards, man. I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> um, right. He noticed on the boxes that there was a Celebi. Hmm. Is there going to be a shiny Celebi in this set that we do not yet know about? Very possible. As well as the Celebi, he also noticed that there's a Volcano. If there's a Celebi and a Volcano on the box in the little artwork thingy Yoki Mabob going around the box... That means that they must be in the set, right? Nobody else has seemed to notice this right now. 
I am going to say they're going to be in the set. Like, let's be honest, they are going to be in the set. Otherwise, they wouldn't be on the box, right? Right. Unless Pokemon are trying to confuse me. But why would they do that? Why? Yeah, they're going to be in the set. So, right. As well as that, we have some absolutely kick-ass cards. We're going to have a gold Eternus V and V Max, which are, like, come on. That's fantastic. That's a great thing for the set. There's dittos in the set. There's dittos in the regular set, and then there's dittos in the shiny vault. So it's like ditto, 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 ditto. Ditto, 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 yeah. So there's going to be a load of dittos in the set, okay? There's going to be um, ditto V and ditto V Max shiny. They're gorgeous. If you guys haven't seen them already, you just need to go have a look. Well, they'll be screen, yeah, obviously. As well as that, we've Mr. Mime, Galarian Mr. Mime, and Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Two awesome Pokemon. I do love Mr. Mime. It was even just the way he went, Mr. Mime, 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 Mr. Mime. Cool ass Pokemon. I know I probably don't sound great when I'm doing it, but I like them, okay? Mr. Mime was awesome, and Mr. Rhyme is also just as awesome. He's a tap dancing mimer. Like, how can you not love that? So, We've got those two coming in in shiny form, which are going to be really good. If they are the shiny forms with the um, with the mad party attacks, like they're going to be really sought after. People are going to want them just to even play with them, so it's going to bring the price way up. Then you've got Sukwain, which is a cool Pokemon. Who doesn't love one of the legendary dogs from Johto, right? In shiny form, yeah, who doesn't want that? We got Lapras, Shiny Lapras and VMAX Lapras, like wow, just wow, 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 amazing guys, just amazing. But that's pretty much all I'm going to say about um, Shining Fates at the moment. We all know, there's a lot of my other videos talking about Shining Fates and what's in it. It's a pretty good set. So for collectability, I think Shining Fates is going to be the one to go for, but for playability, <coughs> coronavirus I'm just talking too much guys when I talk too much I cough as you have seen in other videos I need to work on that I need to start bringing liquids in with me like it's liquids that make me feel better all the time like it simply is so let's go and talk about battle styles guys battle styles is absolutely banging all right at first, I seen Battle Styles, I was checking out the set list and what cards were going to be in it, what it looked like, and I was thinking, this kind of, they're letting us down with this set, you know what I mean? But then, all of a sudden, the Shining card, or Shining cards, darn it, that's not what I meant to say. <coughs> Stupid coronavirus is killing me. But then, all of a sudden, guys, out of nowhere, they released the secret rares that were going to be in the set. Oh my god, I nearly had an organism just looking at the page with the pictures of the secret rares on it. We have a Mimikyu in the secret rares. That was like so beautiful, guys. I don't know, like, for all of you guys, but that Mimikyu in the set, like, wow. The artwork on it, amazing. Like... Honest to God, all the artwork on all the secret rares in this set are just mind-bogglingly amazing. Like, some of the best artwork I've seen in years, honestly. Like, so good. You've got a Golden Hound Doom, for God's sake. Golden Hound Doom! Stunning, guys. We've got gold special fighting type energy type smashy tingy majiggy. It looks cool. It's not really what I'm interested in. We've got... Six or seven amazing full art trainers, guys, that are mind-blowing. We've Tyrantar, Tyranitar, bleh. Can't even get my words out there. You'd think I was drunk, but I'm not, I promise. You've got Tyranitar. Tyranitar V and V Max with rapid or no, single strike, that's right. Tyranitar is <coughs> a single strike Pokemon and just absolutely mind-blowing, guys. So as well as the Tyranitar, we have six rainbow rare trainer cards, which is, again, like, just, they're so nice, guys. Look at them around there. They're so nice. They, they, they're beautiful. Let's be honest, they are just beautiful. 
So we really have a lot of good stuff in this set, just as much as we have in Shining Fates. Not to mention the two elite trainer boxes. We got Urshifu Single Strike and Urshifu Rapid Strike, and they are just gorgeous. Red and blue elite trainer boxes. Last time we seen them was with Sword and Shield, which nobody really wants. But before that, it was with Evo, all right? Evolutions for everybody who didn't get that. Before that, we had Evolutions, which was like amazing. Everybody wanted them, like they're gorgeous. Oh look, there's one there, right? Oh, did I just write on that? Uh, 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 ah, crap. Well, that's that ruined. Oh well. Click. So, uh, yeah, oh, I ruined an ETB. Oh, I have more, whatever. And so, we've got that whole like, two elite trainer boxes that are gorgeous. They're gonna be very presentable. They're really good looking. Presentable elite trainer boxes always end up doing really well, especially with resale value. Now. Guys, don't get me wrong, there is not a single bone in my body that sees battle styles doing better than Shining Fates for resale value in a couple of years. It's just never going to happen, okay? Shining Fates is going to be the best for resale value that like anybody can get. So if you buy a Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box, down the road it's going to be worth way more than a battle styles one will. Even in 15 years, 10 years, a million years, right, maybe not a million years, it still wouldn't be there, it'd have disintegrated into nothingness. But, they're gonna be pretty awesome. And Battle Styles, like, as well as that, has Eevee and Jilteon blister packs. They're the tree pack blisters, and they're, they're really nice cards, guys. They're well worth having in a collection. Sealed collectors will go mad for them. There's Evolutions collectors out there that will go mad for them. They're like they're really, really good. Of course, there's also the premium blister packs that have um, Tyranitar on them, which are like wow. They're so much better than the ones with Corviknight, like it's Tyranitar, and even the one pack blisters that have a Charmander on them, in it. Like, it's it's just, I can't stress enough how much of a good set this is actually going to be, guys. How many of the products are really going to be totally awesome possum. That's right. So, there's so much, like, showing me that Battle Styles is going to be up to par with Shining Fates. Okay, it's not going to resell for as much, alright? It's not going to have Shining cards in it, which a lot of people might see as well then it's not really as good. But realistically, Shining Fates cards are not gonna be really playable. So if you play the game, like you're not really gonna see Shining Fates as the go-to set. If you're collecting, you might if you're just a collector. But at the same time, guys, the cards that are in battle styles, like you've got Empoleon as well that's there and he's so beautiful. You just, there's so many absolutely gorgeous cards in it. I'm gonna do a full run through of the battle styles set in a future video guys so you'll be able to see all the cards that are in it. I don't have the time in this video to go through them all so I'm just like giving a little brief talk about. So that brings us to the final question okay which is the better set? Should you buy Shining Fates or should you buy Battle Styles? I can't actually answer that question for you okay because it's a personal question. Are you looking just for Shining Pokemon? If so, Shining Fates is the one for you. Are you looking for really powerful Pokemon cards to use in battling and play? If so, Battle Styles is the one for you. Are you looking for the set with better artwork? If so, Battle Styles is the one for you, in my opinion, okay? Are you looking for cards that are gonna stand out sitting on a shelf for display purposes? If so, Shining Fates is the one for you. Are you looking for a sealed product that you can present really nicely? If so, Battle Styles is the one for you. So it's really all about what you guys want. And there's no real, like, definite answer. Resale value, Shining Fates is kicking its butt, let's be honest. But at the same time, guys, I'm putting a bit of money into Battle Styles. I think the artwork of the cards is probably one of the best I've seen in a long, long time. Like, it's just mind-bogglingly beautiful, especially all those secret rare cards and, like, 
The gold cards are okay. The the Houndoom is like magnificent. The energies not so much. But then you have like I said, the Empoleon, the Tyranitar, the Mimikyu, like it's just wow. Wow, wow, wow. As well as that, guys, you've got some beautiful full art trainers in there. Um, you've got some beautiful uh, rainbow trainers. It's it's a winning set. It really is. At first, when it was coming out, I just didn't see it. But now, it's a winning set. It's just so good, guys. So, if you have spent all your money on Shining Fates already, start saving. Because you'll only have a month from the release date of Shining Fates to the release date of Battle Styles. So, start saving so you can get some of Battle Styles as well, guys. Because that artwork is, like, fantastic. Like... Little cards like this, okay? I like to display nice cards, okay? Why? Because I do. I don't like doing anything else with them, I just like looking at them. Battle Styles is probably going to be my favourite out of the two sets, to be quite honest. Shining Pokemon are cool, but they're not all it's all about for me, okay? I like artwork, so as I said, Battle Styles is my choice of the better set. It's not going to be worth as much, definitely not, okay? It doesn't have all the Shining Pokemon, and Shining Pokemon will sell for a really high price, but it has beautiful cards, and beautiful cards for me mean more than anything. It's all about that artwork, guys, especially for me. So, take what you want from this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of help in deciding what you're going to buy more of, but, um, yeah, that's all we have. That's all I can really tell you is about, anyway. Um, if you would like to know more, well, come back again soon. I'm sure I'll have more videos. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. It has been an absolute pleasure to be here chatting with you. Don't forget, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be in our giveaway, make sure you're dropping a comment down below to win yourself an Elite Trainer Box. And, of course, that beautiful mystery pack that's going to be going with it. So, thanks very much, guys, for watching. And, um... Peace out. A town. Bum 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 bum. If everybody can figure out what song that was from, I know I'm not a good singer, but drop that down below in the comments as well. See you later, guys. Bye.